So the web, you know, there was this kind of pent up demand. People didn't necessarily realize it, but there was this demand. And as soon as there was a single system that got, you know, wide acceptance, it's like you have 20, 30, 40 years of ideas and ambitions for what you can do with online commerce and connecting people and wikis and you know, online collaboration, etc. suddenly found this expression. So I think a lot of the reason the web exploded is that it kind of allowed and enabled all of these things that you know were in the in the works to suddenly try to find expression. Kind of a dam bursting. CERN does physics, not computing. The, the dam bursting uh, uh, analogy is is not entirely wrong. Um, Although there was a lot of work being done uh, out there at large and, and certainly inside a physics laboratory, it, there was no no way that we were going to get full-scale uh, resource support for something that was totally accessory to the mainstream of what was doing what we were doing at CERN. So it had to get out with a, with a project like the web where. Uh, Nobody understands you because the the only way to make people understand what it is about is to show it to them, to make them experience it. And I said, look, this, as I click here, when I let go of the mouse button, that page is coming from Hawaii. And so he looked at this and I saw his eyes widen. And I clicked another one and another page came up with another bunch of dinosaurs. And then he pushed me aside and grabbed the mouse and began clicking himself. <laughs> when the web came out and you could just very easily with some very simple handwritten in the early days, markup language, HTML, uh, you could make a page and you could make put a picture on the page and make links to other pages. And it was immediately a kind of a revelation. If you wrote a uh, web page and it adhered to the HTML standard, it could be read by anyone who had a browser that could read the HTML standard. And that meant that very quickly we had competing browsers, we had competing websites, we had an open ecosystem that anyone could join. The core question is what is the value that defines the web? And my, my belief is that the value is neutrality. And I think the future of the web as this neutral platform will depend on the extent to which uh, policymakers remain committed to that neutrality by resisting the dominance of market players um, who would uh, compromise that. We need to repair or complement or supplement the infrastructure so as to preserve the basic experience by content providers and users and application providers of this as a neutral platform that encourages innovation and creativity open to all. In the 90s, when everyone was looking for ways of sharing information, the idea was it was all meant to be for the good. It was to open up knowledge. It was to enable communication between people across the world. Everything was all about what we could do for the good. And that feels now as if it's turned on us. The big question is, how do we protect ourselves from the bad things without losing all the good things? And this, to me, is why the web conference is so important. You have to look at it from many different angles, the, the economics and regulatory systems, the law, uh, philosophy, politics. We need to be discussing how we take the web forward in such a way that it's good for humanity. Hi everyone. 
My name is Leila. I'm one of the two general co-chairs for the Web Conference 2019, which will take place in San Francisco from May 13 to 17. We are looking forward to welcoming you in San Francisco and Bay Area and to the Web Conference uh, to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the Web, but also to think about the future of the Web as a more inclusive and balanced Web. I'm Ricardo. I'm the other general co-chair of the conference. And to celebrate this 30 year for the web, we will not only have the classical research tracks, accessibility, big data, but also three special tracks that focus on health, the open web, and the relation of web and society. So we hope to see you next May in San Francisco. Bye.